Oslo is one of the most expensive cities in the world. From a cup of coffee to its hotel prices, it's safe to say a trip to Oslo hurts the bank accounts a little. Despite this, it's actually one of the best cities in the world to visit as a solo traveller. So on today's video, I've set myself the goal of exploring Oslo on a budget. Is it actually possible to explore one of the world's most expensive cities on a budget? Let's find out. Good morning everyone and welcome back to Oslo, Norway. On today's video, I'm going to be spending 24 hours in Oslo on a budget. So basically going around the city, sharing you how you can enjoy the city whilst also on a budget at the same time. Now, we're doing a free walking tour this morning, so of course, free of charge. You, it is encouraged, however, to basically pay a tip, so I'm gonna pay a five pound tip. So it's still on a budget. It's a two hour free walking tour all around Oslo, which is very, very exciting. Um, but yeah, obviously before that, I've got to have some breakfast. So I've just come to a local cafe in the central train station. It's cost me 39 of the local currency, which is approximately three pounds. So not the cheapest breakfast, but definitely not the most expensive. Oslo is really expensive in terms of like brunch places, breakfast places so I think I found one of the cheapest options here in the city for some breakfast so yeah this is the first stop breakfast second stop free walking tour and then yeah I will take you through the city today and uh, try and as best as possible share how you can explore this wonderful city on a budget okay breakfast complete croissant was delicious and now we're heading to the meeting point for the free walking tour which is just over here by a big statue Oh, say hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> so that includes the buses, the metro, the tricks, and the Tiabana and the ferries. Then we come. That woman is ice skating on this frozen water. I'd be way too terrified to do that in case it broke. And I'd go like tumbling through the ice. Scary. But fair play to her. To be fair, if I was a good ice skater, I'd probably do the same. Oh, she's coming off now. That was short lived. That there is the famous floating sauna. That was an option for us to basically have a go and check it out, but I am not a fan of saunas. I was I was in a sauna like two weeks ago and it reminded me that I really do not like saunas, but it is currently minus 15 degrees. So even today, I think I would appreciate a sauna. It wouldn't probably quite be on a budget. Although actually I looked on Get Your Guide the other day. I think it was about 15 pounds to go in the sauna. Not sure for like how long, but to be honest, for all activities here in Oslo, that is probably one of the cheapest that I've seen. So if you are coming here on a budget, that might be an activity to come and check out. And it's definitely worth it if you come here in the winter because my goodness, it is so cold. Overpriced coffee, is that your thing? Okay, so Norway's national sport is cross-country skiing and our tour guide was just saying she's from South Africa and her favourite sport is rugby. Norway are ranked 100 out of 108 in the world rugby rankings so they stick very much to, of course, winter sports. She also said Norway is the country that has received the most medals at the Winter Olympics which of course makes sense as well. Um, but yeah, cross-country skiing, that is their favourite sport and the sport they are best at. Um, I haven't been skiing for years, I actually would love to go skiing again soon um, and she very much recommended Norway a fantastic place of course to come cross-country skiing so um yeah so far so good really enjoying the free walking tour it's in my opinion the best way to get to know a city so um yeah going to continue on the tour now it's hard to explain just how damn cold it is every time I film I have to take my gloves off and my hands are freezing like I have never experienced cold like it but look at this view amazing so so cool such a beautiful city as well I knew Oslo would be beautiful but in the winter time honestly I haven't been in the summer so I can't compare but I think a very very cool time to come is here in the winter so if anyone is interested in doing the free walking tour I will leave a link in the description you can come check it out like I mentioned earlier it is free but it is requested really that you do leave a tip Woo! Christmas <laughs> we love it Okay, we're just going through the Christmas markets now. This is where the tour finishes. Have they? Okay, we're coming back here. We're definitely coming back here. So like I just mentioned, we are coming to the end of the free walking tour and it finishes in the Christmas markets that we went to yesterday. 
And then our next stop is going to be finding a cafe to get warm. Crystal hasn't had any breakfast this morning, so she's going to grab some brunch. And then in the afternoon, we're going to take advantage of our Oslo Pass, which we bought. I'll share more about that later, uh, which gives us access to lots of yeah, sites and museums and monuments here in the city. So yeah, I'll share more about that in a little bit. We've got five more minutes left of the tour. A few moments later. Okay, so free walking tour complete. It's now time for some lunch. So I've come to 7-Eleven. There are loads of 7-Elevens across the city and they have a wide array of food from breakfast, lunch to dinner. I'm gonna try a traditional hot dog sausage. I went into a 7-Eleven yesterday and there's loads of different sausage options. So I'm gonna give one of those a try. And uh, yeah, that'll be my lunch for today on a budget. I think honestly, if you're looking to go out and have lunch, you're going to be spending a lot of money probably anywhere from like 20 25 maybe even 30 pounds for a main meal so if you're looking for somewhere on a budget definitely check out 7-eleven hi could i please get the bacon pulsa yeah bacon please. yes please uh would you like something uh no thank you yeah. and and these two as well please, please. please. yeah yeah Seven. Five. Russian food. Chef is Amazing. Thanks yeah. so much. Welcome. Thank you. Mm, looks good. So, a hot dog acquired. The hot dog and two chocolate bars cost 87 of the Norwegian currency, which I think is like just about six pounds. I'll put the exact conversion on screen now, but time for a taste test. I've got my. Covered it in some ketchup. It's covered in some bacon as well. Let's give it a try. nice wow i took a big mouthful there my god mm. okay i mean it's no gourmet lunch but as hot dog goes <laughs> it's a pretty good one really cheap like i said got a really good deal on chocolate bars as well it was two for 35 which is like two for about three pounds so yeah got my chocolate bars traditional norwegian chocolate bars so i'll have that late well i'll try one of those later give you my verdict on that but yeah for now i'm gonna finish my hot dog like i said earlier if you're looking for a lunch on a budget check out 7-eleven um yeah there's paninis hot dogs crisps snacks plenty of sort of got you by throughout the day so uh yeah i'm gonna enjoy my hot dog <laughs> okay so we've now arrived at the ingun's gate or inden's gate i think it's ingun's gate market again like i said earlier a general market not specifically a food one like the christmas market is for example so we're not too sure what to expect we're gonna go have a look around let's go And this is a really good example of something that is free to do here in Oslo. Obviously you can come, check out, walk around the markets. It doesn't cost any money to go and walk around. Uh, of course, if you want to buy something, that's going to cost you. But yeah, in terms of walking around, it's completely free. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's give it a try. Mm. Oh wow, that is really nice. Right. We've come into more of the indoors bit. Check all this out. Okay, so the market was not very big at all, so it only took us about 15 minutes to walk around it. And now we're heading to our next stop, which is called Heine Onstad. And Heine Onstad, we basically have nicknamed the Instagram place because it is like a museum or... It's not a museum, is it? Well, what? Gallery. Gallery, basically, that looks like somewhere that you can take lots of cool yeah. Instagram photos. Immersive kind of experience. So we're just at the bus stop. It's going to take about 40 minutes to get there. It closes at 5. It's currently 2.10, so we've got plenty of time. Um, and the bus is going to be here in about 8 minutes. And it is all part of the Oslo Pass. You get it for free with the Oslo Pass. And you can either buy a 24, 48 or 72 hour Oslo Pass. I'll put on the screen now how much each of those like prices is. Um, I've gone for the 72 hour one. And yeah, this place is included in the Oslo Pass. So it's like technically free, but also not because you've obviously paid for the pass. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to wait here at the bus stop and then we're going to head there now.
Okay, so we've almost arrived at Heine Onstadt and the view is beautiful. It took about 25 minutes on the bus just to uh, yeah, take us on the outskirts of Oslo. It is freezing cold. I think it's been snowing recently because it looks like there's some fresh snow, but it's so beautiful. Take a look at this. Absolutely stunning. It's so nice. <laughs> so, so nice. So yeah, just about a five minute walk away from the museum. Probably got about an hour, just over an hour to walk around before it closes. And then we'll get the bus back into Oslo, grab some dinner, go to the Christmas market. Okay, we are here. Get me into the warm. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. That is so nice. Right, here we are. There we go. This is so cool. I think this is what we meant, didn't we, when we went when we meant uh, Instagram vibes. This is so cool, and the mirror makes it so. Whoa! I've just. There's a step. There's a. St <laughs> There's a step. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's really hard to see because of like the mirrors, and then just like makes the room look even bigger than it actually is. Whoa! This is so cool. Oh my goodness. This is wicked. The sky is beautiful. Time is 15.42 and of course here in winter time the sun is already setting. We had a really cool time exploring the museum. There wasn't too much there, not too many exhibits on at the moment, but we went to our favorite one, the one we saw a photo of, which is our kind of like Instagram style exhibit. So we got some good photos, some good videos, and now we are just heading back to the bus stop to head back into Oslo and then to head to a food court. So very, very busy day, but it just shows you can have a very busy day in Oslo on a budget. Now, I said I would explain more about the Oslo Pass. What happens is basically you can buy a 24 hour, 48 hour or 72 hour pass. This allows you free transportation in Oslo. That's trams, trains, buses. And it also gets you free access into so many different attractions, exhibits, museums in the city of which the one we just went to is included in the pass. So if you're planning an itinerary and you find that lots of these places pop up, that you want to go to that are also on the Oslo Pass, it's definitely worth getting the Oslo Pass. We filled our itinerary with things on the Oslo Pass to make it a good value for money, but we've been on the tram and the bus so many times, so we probably made back all our money already. So I'd highly recommend checking it out. I'll leave a link in the description to check out the Oslo Pass, not sponsored or anything. Just been a really, really good way for us to explore Oslo in the cheapest way possible. And of course, in good theme for today's video on a budget. Okay, so the time is currently 20 past four. It is now pretty much pitch black and we are heading to Matt Hallen, which is a street food market. Just gonna go have a little explore, walk around, maybe try some food. And then the plan is to head back to the Christmas markets, explore those again, even though we went yesterday. Try lots of tasters. Of course, today's video on a budget, you gotta try the tasters at a market and then probably buy some dinner, see if I can find something reasonably priced. And that'll, that'll be uh, us for the day. We've actually had such a busy day. Yeah. We've done so much. Very, very busy. But yeah, next stop, Matt Hallen Market. So we have arrived at Matt Hallun. As you can see behind me, massive food court. It looks 
ginormous. Let's head in and take a look. It's so warm in here, which is a big yes from me. We'll go walk around. Oh, it reminds me of the Time Out Market. Let's see, they've got poke bowls, focaccia. Italian food, Hungarian food. Wow, this is huge. Sushi. Yum, yum, yum. Some scallops as well. My literal fave. I was just saying to my friend Crystal, if we can get some sushi, I'm going to be happy. But I think we're going to come back tomorrow as well because there is so many options here. I don't think we can just pick one today that we want to eat. We want to try out a lot, so... Yeah, it's going to keep wandering around. But if you're looking for some food on a budget, honestly, the prices we've seen so far have been so much cheaper to any other food that we've been seeing across the city. So I'll leave a link in the description to this market if you want to come check it out. I'm not sure if it's open all year round. Obviously, we're coming in the winter time now and it's definitely open. So yeah, I would highly, highly recommend it. Okay, so we have come to our final stop of the day, which are the, uh, the Christmas markets. I still haven't had dinner yet, so I'm going to try and find something to eat at the Christmas market on a budget. Now, I think that is easier said than done because obviously Christmas markets are pretty expensive on the whole. So I'm going to have a look around. I've got an idea in mind at the moment. I think I'm going to get a chicken gyros, which is about £10, which I think for a Christmas market is pretty fair. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have a look around, remind myself about what's on offer and then try and find something on a budget. and I'll let you know how I get on. Okay, so for dinner I'm going to order some tzatziki fries. It costs 85 krona, which I think is approximately six pounds, seven pounds. I'll put it on screen how much it is. I think that's pretty good value for money. I love tzatziki, I love fries, and I think I found an absolute bargain here. Somewhere to eat at the Christmas market on a budget. So yeah, let's order it now. Can I get fries tzatziki, please? Fries tzatziki? Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay, so I've got my chips and tzatziki. The last thing I'm going to do today in the vlog, let's give them a try. Oh. Very nice. The one thing I did say, a bit stingy on the tzatziki, a lot of chips though, but for the price, I think really, really good. So I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. I hope if you're coming to Oslo, you'd like to come here on a budget that you feel like you can do so. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you'd like to come to Oslo in 2024. Subscribe for new and I'll see you in the next video.